podcast, I would tell Uncle Roy. My feet can't lose. If we find out why your breath is so rancid, or we get a thousand pounds each. That's like a month's worth of swear words. Hold on, I've got to fix my knee. Oh, oh. God. Whoa, are you Roy Kent? Yeah, are you a dentist? Yeah. Can we come in? Thank you so much. This will only take a second. The house is lovely. Jack calls with found a party. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Well, congratulations, Phoebe. That is some spectacularly bad breath. Thank you. Have you been under any unusual stress lately? <laughs> Not if I do my breathing exercises. Have you been smoking? <laughs> no. <laughs> Any new medications? Just my antihistamines. They got a new cat. She's allergic. Her name is Dauphine. My mum said that we rescued her, but I like to think that she rescued us. Ah, oh, well, that's it then, Phoebe. Antihistamines dry out the mouth, and when saliva production is reduced, then the environment for odour-producing bacteria thrives. And thrive it has. Might be time to say au revoir to Dauphine. No! Come on, Phoebe, you've only had her a month. But we're soulmates. Phoebe, no one is going to make you get rid of Dauphine, OK? Because that would be an insane thing for your uncle, who loves you and who is not a monster to suggest. And I'm sure Dr Rogers has another solution, because she's nice and smart and science is real. And it's Christmas, right? Yeah. Thank you. Yo! Can I get an assy? Fine. Not with you, mate. With Keely. I mean, you're a legend at Chelsea, but shit at Richmond. But Keely Jones was a seminal figure throughout my teenage years. How about this? Why don't we all take a picture together? By the tree. Wicked. <laughs>